what to do if your Galaxy S10 screen has discoloration. Are you wondering what you can do if your Galaxy S10 screen has discoloration? We prepared some solution on that one, so make sure to watch the video. The first one is to know whether or not the digitizer is still good. It is the transparent layer on top of the screen that senses your finger touches. If your S10 has become unresponsive to touches, the digitizer is most likely damaged. Another thing to consider when dealing with screen discoloration issue is to see if there's crack on the screen. Even a tiny crack can be serious for a sensitive electronic device like your S10. If discoloration is severe and affects how images are being shown, screen replacement is the least that can be done for your phone. If your S10 screen started showing discoloration even when you did nothing that may have caused physical damage, it can be due to a minor temporary bug. Tons of these types may go away after restarting the device so that's exactly what you want to do next. If your S10 screen still has discoloration, try to disconnect accessories like SIM cards, SD card external case, etc. Some Samsung Galaxy users in the past were able to fix unexplained discoloration on their screens by doing this step. If nothing changes, just skip this suggestion and proceed to the next. Another good troubleshooting that you can do at this stage is to check if the cause of the problem is a bad app. Some poorly coded apps may interfere with Android and some functions. To check, restart your S10 to safe mode and see if the screen works normally. If it does, then it means you have an app problems. If your S10 screen still has discoloration and nothing changes on safe mode, the next troubleshooting step is to wipe it. Doing this return all software settings to their factory defaults. If the reason for the problem is software related, factory reset will most likely help. If screen discoloration persists after wiping the device with factory reset, that's a confirmation of a physical problem. This usually occurs after dropping the device causing permanent damage to the hardware. Visit your local Samsung service center as early as possible to have the screen fixed. If there's no more screen insurance on the device, repair cost is usually passed on the owner, so that means you'll most likely spend upwards of $200. Breaking the screen by dropping it or hitting the device by an object is considered misuse so that automatically voids the standard one-year warranty. Still, repair by Samsung is the best option that you can do at this stage. If you can't send your phone to an official Samsung service center, then bringing the device to a third-party shop is the next best thing to do. Keep in mind though, that Samsung considers repairs by independent technician as tampering of hardware. This means that if you decide to bring the device to Samsung later on, they will no longer accept requests for repair even if you'll pay them for it. Many people usually try do-it-yourself repair to save money on repair, while it's doable, a lot of these amateurs end up causing more problems than fixing the main one. If you are confident that you can follow instructions, and has the right tools to do it, then visit YouTube and find good videos that can help you walk through the repair process. Do it at your own risk, that's it. We hope this video is helpful. Please subscribe for more S10 videos in the future.